Hey guys, today I want to do a little test on a few different leak detectors. Uh, one of the toughest things is trying to find what works best for R410A. So I've got a coil here that I've pumped full of Puron 410A. And right now we've got it up to about 51 pounds of pressure. And I want to see this coil had a form, I guess it's pronounced formicary corrosion. It's where the acids get attached to the copper and they burrow a little microscopic hose. I did a dye test on this one so I know where it's leaking at. So we're going to see which one of these detectors will pick it up best. I've got, this is an older one, but it's a Baccarat Informant 2. I've got a TIFF XP1A. Like I said it's an older one, but it's still decent. I've got a DTEC Select. I've got the TechMate. Got the old Amphicon DTEC. I got Ultrasonic, and I've got the Yellow Jacket. So let's put these things to the test and see which one favors the best. All right, guys. First, I think I'll start off with the TechMate. Uh, just stick it right in here to where it is leaking. They see it right in there where the die was. Okay, so that was the tech mate. It did pick up a little bit. Alright, next we're gonna use the TIFF. Power it on. I got these. This one here was borrowed from a guy at work. Alright, so Tiff's not picking up anything. I'm not familiar with this model of Tiff. Uh, I'm sure it's an older one, I'm not sure. But it's not picking up. It's not picking up anything. That's the TIFF. Alright, now I want to try the Enficon DTEC. Uh, this one's, I've had this one for a very long time. It's, it's been a good meter, or a good detector, but I've had trouble locating Puron with it, or 410. All these are on high settings. meters that aren't picking up anything. It's on high. Alright, now we're going to try the uh, Inficon Detect Select. Again, it's on high. Pegged it. Yeah. Pegged it every time. This one's mine. I've got a, I've got the tech mate. I've got the other Amphicon. This one does really good. So the select wins on this one so far. All right, this is another meter that I really like. It's the Yellow Jacket AccuProbe. Oh, let me get it off mute here. Alright, so that's really 
Sounds good too. Yellow jacket. Alright, so now I'm going to try ultrasonic. I'm going to see what it picks up. I've got the headphones on. Just doing anything, it's just real sensitive. But I hear no difference from here. If I run along that coil, all right, so I'm not able to hear anything with this. This is the uh, amp probe, it's the amp probe ULD 300. Whoops, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not, I don't know about these, I'm not that impressed, I don't hear anything. Next is the Baccarat, it's the Informant 2. The guy that owns this one, this is the second meter that I borrowed. Now he is not easy on his tool, as well. it looks pretty rough, but we'll see what the Baccarat does. This one's got a little battery like it just popped up. So I'm going to try this one again. Alrighty guys, I am down to 10 pounds. So let me try these and see which one can read 10 pounds. Here's the Inficon Detect Select. Now. It's still picking it up. You just have to be closer to it now. I, mean, I can't just stick it in the middle here anymore. I can't just run it down the middle of it anymore. Alright, so this is still going strong, so we'll just keep taking it out. Alright, so here goes the yellow jacket again. Let me get it off of mute. My favorite one so far. I like to select too, but this one here is this one here is cool. And I like the fact that you can mute the dag on thing too. Guess I'm gonna try my old my old uh, old Betsy here one more time. I don't think it's gonna fare too well. It's great for our 22. R410. Let's say another five, ten years from now, this meter, this one's going to be obsolete. You get to we're not much with R22 anymore. Maybe longer than five, ten years, but that's not even trying anymore. Let's go ahead and try the tech mate once more. Infant con select ten pounds. Bam. Bam right there. He's not going down without a fight. All 
Alright, he's still picking it up. Alright, back to the yellow jacket. That's got the flashing red light for the coolness factor. So, this one's still going strong. Alright guys, I'm down to right about 5 pounds now. 5 pounds of pressure in the coil, so let's see if any of them can find this. Alright, select. Just gotta keep it moving. Alright, guys, sorry about that. I ran out of memory card. But as I was saying, I think the old select here is done. It's not really picking up anything. Uh, it caught a little sniff right in the beginning, but it's just not doing anything right now. So at 5 psi, this is done. Let's try the Yellow jacket, unmute it. Run her in there. Looks like the yellow jacket's done at 5 PSI too. Alright, so at 5 PSI, we're done with this one too. Alright guys, so out of all the meters that I've tested, if I had to pick, to pick one, it would be either the Select or the yellow jacket. Uh, they're both I think really good meters. Uh, I've used this one for, you know, it's been a long time. I've had it for a couple of years now, two or three years. I say a long time, it's not that long. I just bought this one. Uh, this one I've only had just for about a week, not even a week yet. So if you're going to go out and buy one, if you want to buy one meter that's going to do the job right the first time, uh, like I said, you can't go wrong with either one of them. So I hope this helped. And thanks for watching.